Hey folks, Zoe Maya here. Welcome back to Haven's Kitchen. Today we're making gingery peanut tofu noodles. So we love this recipe because not only is it like glazy and noodly and nutty and delicious, but honestly, we've done all the heavy lifting with this ginger miso. All you're adding is some peanut butter, some maple syrup, some soy sauce, and to be honest, it's crazy genius. What we're gonna do is whisk those things together for this glossy, delicious sauce. Um, we're gonna get some tofu super crispy add some noodles, ramen noodles, rice noodles, any kind of noodles that you have are gonna work with this recipe because it's really all about the sauce. If this recipe sounds like one you'd like to try, subscribe to get access to all of our future videos. All right, let's cook. The first thing we're gonna do is crisp up our tofu. We want a nice neutral oil that can take a high heat, so like a sunflower, a canola, anything like that. And we're gonna use a heavy bottom pan to make sure to get a nice even distribution of heat so that when we're getting this tofu nice and crispy, it doesn't burn on us. So we're gonna add a nice glug of neutral oil here. And then pop in our chunks of tofu. Make sure that they're evenly distributed and flat so that you get a nice surface area for really crispy edges. So while that tofu sizzles, we're gonna work on our sauce. The first thing I'm gonna do is add some peanut butter. You can use a whisk, you can use a fork. It doesn't matter as long as you get everything in here. Next, we're gonna add our soy sauce. If you're gluten-free, you can use tamari as a substitute. And some maple syrup just to balance those savory salty notes. I like to just start by mashing up the peanut butter a little bit and then I'm gonna squeeze in about half a pouch of our gingery miso sauce. Oh yeah, looks so good already. Even though our soy sauce has a little bit of salt content, we're also just gonna add a little pinch of salt to our sauce to bring everything together. And then just lightly spoon and whisk, whisk, fork, whatever you wanna do. What we're looking for is just a nice uniform sauce. If for some reason your peanut butter feels like it's a little thick, you can also thin this recipe out with just a few splashes of water at a time, but just wait until you see the texture and consistency of the sauce. Looking really good here. Perfect, oh my gosh. Have they in invented smell -o vision yet because we need it right now. My tofu is getting crispy. I'm just gonna go give a little peep, make sure that things aren't getting too crispy on one side and just flip those pieces so they're golden all around every edge. So these are getting beautiful golden brown delicious, which is exactly what we want. Make sure they're crispy, but they stay really nice and moist in the middle. Make sure they're all crispy. And what they're gonna do is actually soak up all of this delicious sauce, which as much as I wanna drink it, I'm gonna pour it in the pan. Give that a quick little toss before we add our noodles. Now just give everything a stir together so that these noodles and these tofu start soaking up all of those delicious flavors. And we're doing this in the pan because we also want the heat to kind of caramelize that delicious maple syrup that we added to our sauce and just make sure all those flavors are hidden. And lastly, if you feel like your noodles just need a little bit of extra coating to get nice and silky and coated in the sauce, just add a tiny bit of water. just to get all of that sauce beautiful. 
That water will also, just like with pasta water, will emulsify with the starch of the noodles to create a super glossy, delicious, silky sauce. Yeah, smells good. All right, so our noodles are so saucy and delicious. Like I just want to dive into this pan right now. It smells so good, but we need some freshness. So we're gonna garnish this up and make it super beautiful with crunchy peanuts, scallions that have been nice and thinly sliced. So you get one in every bite. Fresh cilantro, we've just given it like a rough chop. So you get that nice crunch from the stems, which you can also use, not just the leaves. They're super flavorful. And then a fresh zip of lime juice um, for that extra pop of flavor. It's gonna be delicious. I can't wait to eat it. All right, let's plate. All right, there we have it. The most delicious peanut noodles. Our gingery miso is just making it pop. All these fresh herbs, that fresh squeeze of lime. Like, I seriously cannot wait to dive into this bowl. If this recipe inspired you to send nudes, like this video and subscribe. For the full recipe and a textable shopping list, click the link below. Thanks for watching and cook happy.